Hey, it's kind of friends. This is call it again at uh, Stone Ridge Children's Center here. Um, today we're going to be talking about like literacy with um, using some some of the language. And I was I've been I've been told by a few people that, that they, they 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 heard things and they believe it a little bit different. So the, this this version of it was is um uh, like a like a story where um like our creator Squain Diso, he he. He, well, he like he was. Um, well, I'll, I'll just read the story. It's just like about when um, Squain Diso created created the earth, and he he met, he met uh, a visitor. So after after Squain Diso, he created he created everything. Just having completed forming the earth and what was on it, he was walking around admiring his handiwork when he noticed what appeared to be another man way off in the distance walking towards him. They soon met, and Squain Diso asked the stranger where he had come from. The stranger replied, I believe that I am the creator of this land and I am walking around now admiring what I have done. Surprised, Sequoia Nisha says, no, you are wrong. I was the one who created the land. They bickered back and forth like this for a little while until finally Sequoia Nisha said, fine, let's, let's have a little test to see who actually created this land. He, he pointed way off at a distance at, at a at a mountain. He said, see that mountain? He said, we, we will use our power to move it. The one who moves it the farthest must have the, the greatest power and must therefore be the one who created this land. So this, so the stranger, stranger agreed to the challenge and added his own rule. We will turn our backs, he said, and when once turn is up, we will turn around to see how far the mountain has moved. So going this, so he agreed, he agreed to this. So both both turned. The stranger went first. When he was satisfied that he had moved them on, they turned. They turned. They both turned. Turned back around. So Gwendisa was surprised to see that the mountain had indeed moved, although it was only a little bit. He says, "Now it's my turn. My turn." And they both turned their backs again. Um, turned their backs to the mountain. There was a commotion and there was noise behind them. And out of curiosity, the stranger turned back around before they had agreed to it. Little did they know that Seguin Diso had moved the mountain so close that the stranger's to the stranger's back, and when he turned, it struck him struck him on the face. The force of the impact bent his nose and left one side of his face crooked. At this, the stranger conceded that Seguin Diso was the more power, powerful of the two, and that he must be the creator of the, the land and everything on it. So Gwain Diso had, had he, he then had to decide what to do with this stranger because he had, he had moved that mountain and the stranger indeed had possessed a certain, a certain degree of power. So Gwain Diso thought that it would, it would not do, do such to be um, remain on the earth and he was about to start putting putting the people on the earth and to let this this uh, stranger coexist with what might not be a good thing. He told the stranger so and proposed that he would have to remove him from the land. The stranger pleaded with Seguin Diso and said that if he was allowed to stay, that he could help help the people who Seguin Diso was about to make. This is, this is what I'll do, is, the stranger said. I have the power to control the wind and I can protect the people in this way. If ever a strong wind or storm threatens them, I will use my cane and block it from destroying their settlements. I can lift and send it over their settlements so that it does not blow through. In addition to this, I have the power to heal sickness. If, if ever the people are struck down with illnesses, then they can call on me and I will be there to help them. This is, this is how they will do it when they need, when they need aid, aid from me in, in this way. They will, they will create a mask whose, whose face is in my image and I will handpick the men who will create these masks. The very, the, the very second that they, they the first strike in creating the mask, the, the, the fast will have my power. When they use the mask, 
they would prepare a certain kind of corn mush and burn tobacco. The tobacco will form from the, the, the tobacco will, will, will form their words which will which I will hear and will come and they will refer to me as their grandfather and I will help them as, as long as the earth remains. So Gwen Diso agreed to this and allowed the stranger to stay on the earth. So that's just um, like a different ver um, different um, way like what, what people believe is how like well because it's they're, they're called the false face mask and that they're here they, they help us and the way that came along was like this, this story here where they had this little contest and that's what 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 a lot of like the longhouse people believe is, is still to this day is that that when when we do need, need their help whether it's to if there's bad storms that are coming or if it's like somebody's 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 sick, and then they need like and they need that help. Then that's that's what we do. We ask we ask upon our grandfathers here to to help us. So that was just one one story that I was told of how how the earth was created. So thank you for listening. This has been Colin again. So hope to see you soon. Thank you.